Hi, welcome back to Silva at Home. I'm Marley Schuster. I'm Maggie Schuster. And I'm Molly Schuster. And, and we're the m and uh, Our parents work for Special Olympics and with our free time we like to volunteer at events. And today we're going to be showing you how to do chalk art with blue painters tape, chalk, and a sidewalk. And yeah, so we're gonna show you the first step, which is taping it off, which it doesn't really matter, like how big or how small you make it. And you just kind of free range it and make it however you like. It doesn't really like to stick to the sidewalk either, but you just gotta step on it a little bit and it'll make it. But you can make triangles, rectangles, squares. I'm making a little bit of everything. And then, yeah, it takes a little bit too. Can you use masking tape if you don't have blue painter's tape? Yes. Yes, you can. I wouldn't recommend using the clear tape though. Why? Because you won't be able to see like the chalk and like the lines and it probably won't stick very well. So you just want to make lots of little sections. It doesn't matter how big or how little. Yeah, you can do big, little. I'm doing a mixture of all kinds and it'll make your thing look better if you do lots of little ones than a bunch of bigger ones. We learned from experience. Yes, we did. So this would be like a good little stained glass to show for your first part of the chalk part process. The next part is deciding your, well, you don't really have to decide your colors. You just need your chalk and then you want to color each little thing by itself. And you don't want to do it all the same color because you want it to be many different colors so it'll look even better. And you just gotta color in every little thing you, that you make. Can you put two of the same colors next to each other? You can, if you want. It'll look cool too. Do you think it looks better when you do two colors next to each other or when you have Two different colors next to each other. Two different yeah, colors. Yeah, two in my different opinion. colors looks better in my opinion. Do you want to make sure it's colored all the way in, or can you have some spots that aren't colored? Like, what do you mean? Like the square fully colored in or different? Mm -hmm. Like, do you want to try to get it as solid as you can get it? Yeah. It'll look more smooth. Marley, what do you like to do after you get it colored and to make it smoother? After what I like to do, because there's all that chalk powder left over, if you could see, you take your hand, it's a little messy, and you just rub it in so it makes it look like it's fully colored in and so smooth and everything compared to like if, what it would look like there and there with all like the missing spots. So I like to do it like that. And it just makes it look smoother? Yes. It is sometimes hard with the colors decisions because there's so many colors mm -hmm. and you don't want to put them together like two purple by each other now you guys already had this section taped off and molly made another section next to it could you connect them if you wanted yes you could yes.
Marley, what's something you like to volunteer at with Special Olympics? Well, right now they're doing the Special Olympics camp, and I like to volunteer there. What do you do there? Well, I just help out with all the campers there and do all the activities and help them if they need anything. What are some of the activities? Well, we play lots of games and we play in water a lot. <laughs> Try that again, that airplane went above us. <laughs> okay, well, um, we play lots of games and we have lots of like drawing activities and coloring and lots of free time. We also, um, we also go outside and play in water a lot. Do you learn about healthy snacks? Yes, And exercising? Do. Yeah, and we always have like snacks different days, like a different snack every day. Like today we had banana, like frozen bananas. And it was like, it's like called the afternoon snack because you have a morning snack and an afternoon snack. So what we did with our bananas today, we took yogurt and rubbed them in that and then we sprinkled them and then we put them in the freezer for later. So we had them for our afternoon snack. So it was like a frozen banana popsicle. Cool. Maggie, would you tell your friends that they should volunteer at Special Olympics? Yes. Why? Um, because... Volunteering at Special Olympics can do a lot of things when you're older, like that can help you get, like, I don't know what you call, like stuff, when like, people are paying attention to you, they can take you. Sorry. <laughs> when people are paying attention to you, and they know that you're helping out, then that makes you look like you're trying to do lots of things for your community. It's like a lot of community service, helping out. Yeah. What's your favorite part about helping out? Me? Mm-hmm. My favorite part is when I like to help out with a lot of the sporting events, and my favorite part is when they, like, do a good job or they win, or even if they lose and they're still happy that they tried their best, that I like to see their smiles on their faces. Cool. Molly, you've gotten some of your friends to help before at events, like the basketball tournament here in Boonville. Did they like it? Yeah, they liked it a lot. They had fun with it. <laughs> What's your favorite part about volunteering? I like going to the state events probably the most because you get to see so many different people. And then I really like doing the sports camp a few years ago, but because of summer school at my school, I haven't been able to do it the past few years since then. But like you get to see a bunch of people all at one big state event and you get Zim's lemonade. So that's, <laughs> that's very good. Shout out to Zim, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So once you get it all colored in, what's the next step? The next step is to pull off all the tape. So here is another finished one. So what you're going to do, you're just going to start pulling off the tape and you can see all the different lines. And that is what it looks like when it is done. And so, as you can see, it looks like really like cleaned up and stuff because your tape's there and it kind of looks stained glass. And so, yeah, that's really what it looks like when it's all done. I've also seen people do this on windows. Have you guys seen that? Yes. Uh -huh. And But instead of chalk, what would they use? They use window like paint? window paint, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It looked really cool. Looks really good. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching and coming. Stay safe. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wear hand your masks sanitize. in public. Hand sanitize. And have a nice day. <laughs> have good rest of your summer. Bye. Bye.